Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fifth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to check out how we can comment our code in PHP. So in my text editor notepad++ I've got a file open and it's called comments.php and in the file I have some HTML tags and I also have two sets of PHP tags and uh, let me draw your attention to the PHP code I have on line number 10. So I've got the opening PHP tags here and then I've got the echo statement and then I have uh, a string value within double quotes and the string is commenting code in PHP and uh, then I have the semicolon to terminate the statement and then the closing uh, PHP tags. So let me save the file and uh, show you the output of this file in the browser. So comments.php is the name of the file and there we go. We see the text commenting code in PHP. Now what has happened to the PHP code I have between lines 6 and 9? The PHP interpreter has just ignored this code and uh, comments are uh, you know of two types you can have single line comments or you can have multi line comments and you know to start a single line comment you need to have two forward slash characters and then you can type in your text and if I would press the enter key here and type in some text here you would see that it get dis gets displayed in different color is displayed in white and that's because you know notepad plus plus doesn't recognize this as a part of this comment right so since I've used the two forward slash characters here I can have this comment go as much to the right as I want but then it has to be contained on this line only now if I want to have a comment that spans multiple lines then I can use a, a different set of characters to start the comment I can type in the forward slash and then I can type in the asterisk symbol so this concept is similar to what we have in C++ you know even in C++ you start your comment your multi-line comments in this way and uh, then I have a comment that's spanning multiple lines and as you can see you know the word comment here is not being displayed in white so that means that notepad plus plus recognizes this as a part of the comment that I started on line number seven and then I have uh, you know the characters asterisk and the forward slash so you have to close it in the reverse sequence to start it you have to use the slash first and then the asterisk symbol here you have to use the asterisk first and then the slash symbol and then I have the closing PHP tag so you know this this code this entire code between line number six and line number nine is ignored and you would want to use comments in your code when you're working with something complicated or uh, you know when you are going to share your work with someone for instance you know if you're if you've done something in a certain way if you have a function in your file that you've created and if you want other people to quickly understand what the purpose of the function is then you can comment your code and uh, since I want the tutorials in this course to be short and uh, simple I'm not going to comment my code much but uh, usually when I program when I make uh, you know applications or when I you know write code for websites I usually use comments a lot right and uh, it's a good habit to have and uh, not just if you're working with PHP but with any programming language so that's it for this tutorial we are going to check out more features of PHP in the next tutorial and I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care